Hi, and welcome to another Max tutorial. This is tutorial number 16, Screen Movies. And it's not really a Max tutorial. This is a tutorial for people trying to put their Max homework up on Blogspot. Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with Max. So there, um, it's not a Max tutorial, really. That said, let's just say that you were, in fact, working in Max and you had made this beautiful keyboard here and you wanted to make a movie of your performance on it so you've opened it and now you're playing on it let's get a cool uh, uh, cool sound here uh, I'm kind of in the mood for a trumpet myself where's the trumpets come on trumpets uh, there it is down here uh, trumpet Yeah, I mean, you've got to save that, right? Actually, I should have the volume up. Right? So you want to record your trumpet playing on this thing, or let's just say that your professor requires that you hand uh, something in that shows that you can change uh, your octave. And that you've, um, whoops, <laughs> I had already selected it, and then I reset it by accident when I opened it. But it goes to the... Um, audio units DL synth. Up. Up even an octave higher, and I always forget to show the, the bass one, so there we are, negative one. Nice. So now I want to show off to my uh, professor that I can put this on the on the blog. So one thing I'm going to do is make it bigger so that the screen grab works better. And depending on what uh, program you're using, so if you just stretch the um, patcher window out a little bit, um, it'll work a little bit better. And then you can hit command plus or uh, woo woo. And then of course, Recenter it. So I'm just hitting uh, Command Plus, or you could say uh, it's probably View, uh, Zoom In. It's Command Equals. Okay, Command Equals. We all think of it as Command Plus. So that might be a little big, but it might fit on our window. Let's try. Whoops. And uh, those things are still sensitive to your. Um, to the click of your mouse. It almost fits. I'm going to have to say command minus and just live with it at that size. There we go. But now at least we don't have to look at the title. So there it is. I've got my keyboard there. Um, oh yeah, got volume here too. sharps and flats enough, but I, I don't know how to play the piano, but that's okay. So here we go. And now um, you start up whatever application you would use for screen grab. If you're on a Mac, it's very likely you would use QuickTime. So you can go in your applications folder and find it. I've got it here and I click on QuickTime and it wants to know what I want to open, but I don't want to open anything. Um, done with that and hopefully it won't quit. What I want to do is go up here and say new screen recording and I click on that and I get this little guy here and one thing that you want to see when this guy's here is you want to see that you're actually getting some sound. So I'm going to click on here. Oh it doesn't have a microphone so now I have to say okay internal microphone. There we go. Hey, look, see now we're getting a response here. Now, 
It might seem like if you want more you would turn this up, but what happens is it starts playing back. So if you're playing back over your speakers, everything it records, for example your voice, is then going to get played back over the speakers and you'll start getting feedback. Now, at this point, you may have realized that I am also doing another screen recording of me doing this screen recording, which often causes things to frat, uh, to freeze and crash and all sorts of things. So we'll just carry on as long as we can. So with QuickTime, you then hit the record button here, bonk, and it says click to record the full screen or drag to record part of the screen. End recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar. That'll be up here when it's time to stop. So, okay, so let's drag to record just our beautiful keyboard here. There it is. And then this appears in the, in the middle, start recording. So let's start recording. And it's recording. So, hi professor, I, uh, I made this uh, nice keyboard. It has this volume control. The, the keys all work. <laughs> And uh, this works. And um, I can change the thing to uh, jazz acoustic guitar. That was jazzy, right? So you've demonstrated all that, and then once you're done, have we demonstrated everything? I think we have. Now we can stop the movie by clicking right up here, boink, and this is the movie now, not to be confused with this, the actual object. So you can play the movie and make sure it's okay. Recording. So. Hi professor, I uh, made this uh, nice keyboard. It has this volume control. The the keys Have all work. Have you heard work. this before? <laughs> hey, shut up, dude. Okay, I'm turning me down uh, in the movie here. This works. Okay, I got it. I got it. So let's assume that this is great. We decide we like it, and we're going to save it. So um, file save. And we're going to save it in teaching videos as uh, 001 uh, Johnny, because we want to identify it, Johnny uh, keyboard. Right? And we're going to save it to teaching videos, save. It'll end up being a movie, and hopefully um, it will not be too long that it takes it to render it. I think it's already rendered, in fact. So we're done producing the movie. Now what do we have to do? We have to go to, we have to go to our blog, but how are we going to get there? Well, on our Blackboard page, you'll notice over here on the side it says the 1383 blog. You can just click on that and it should take you right to this blog. Now, if you haven't done so already, you should um, uh, sign in to your uh, this blog which you have been invited to be an author and however you sign in that's fine whether you use your UH address or not um, but you sign in and you say hey I want to make a new post and there it is new post so we make a new post and we say uh, Johnny's Super Keyboard uh, Rules. Here it is. Or something like that. And then we come down here and like, uh, hey everyone, here's my keyboard. Uh, exclamation point. Like it? like. <laughs> anyway, there we go. And now you come over here and you click 
the movie file, insert a video, we click it, and it says upload. You can also, if you are already putting these on YouTube, you can just link to them, but we're just going to upload it. So we're going to choose a, a video file to upload, and it is 001 Johnny Keyboard. Open it, and you'll see this or something like it pop up on your screen, and it's busy uploading the video. So you wait, and you wait, and you wait. Now it's processing the video. Fantastic. And in the meantime, you can put something up here, you know, finish your comments. Uh, gee, I worked so hard. But I can't uh, play the computer keyboard as well as I play the um, violin. Oh, well, whatever. I don't know. What are you writing? Um, thanks for watching. Is this uh, video ever going to get done? Okay. Hey, it got done. So now we have the uh, video here, and I suppose you could click on it, and usually you get the opportunity to resize it. No, it's not going to do it. It just moved it from where it was before. There we go. Um, okay, well, I guess that's good enough. And we're just going to say publish it. Bonk. So now all of our, you go back to the place where all your posts are. And I'm just going to say view blog. Here it is. And look, we've done it. Well, we hope we've done it. Have we done it? Recording. So, oh, there we go. Yes, we've done hi, it. Hi, Professor. I uh, made this uh, nice keyboard. You can even see it in... Control. Shut up, the... you. I, I muted it. But we could even make it full screen for our pleasure. There it is. And unmute it. And um, I can change the thing to... Uh, Jazz acoustic guitar. You get that weird feeling you're watching something twice, so then I'm going to press escape to get back to the regular one. And uh, that's it, really. That is how to put your videos up on YouTube. And I am hoping very much that I see your name in this list over here. Thank you, Silas. Um, and John Kerosene Reed, that is me. And. Um, there you go. And they'll show up in the blog, and we can all see what each other is working on. So that's it. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in an actual Max tutorial next time. Thanks for watching.